Hey everybody, today I'm going to be starting my purslane relish and you have to make this a day ahead of time and salt it and let it sit in the refrigerator similar to some other relishes. In this bowl I have 8 cups of chopped purslane which I chopped in the food processor just like I did for the drying video on purslane. Then you need 2 red or yellow or orange peppers, sweet peppers. And I just cut them up into one inch chunks and threw them in the food processor as well. And I have three um, medium onions that I also did in the food processor. So to all this, you add four tablespoons of non-iodized salt. And then mix it. Okay, so there it is, all mixed. I'm going to go ahead and cover this and put it in the refrigerator, and I'll come back tomorrow after it's set for 24 hours, and we'll finish up this purslane relish. All right, so this is our mixture, relish, peppers, and onions. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and now we need to rinse all that extra salt off of it. So I'm going to sit this in my other sink. And then we're just going to, I have um, a fine mesh sieve, and this, colander is just to hold the sieve and still allow the excess salt to run out. I'm just going to put about three spoons of this in here and then we're going to run cold water on it just to get the extra salt out. And this is where you will see this uh, purslane as a succulent and it's very mucilaginous is the word they use. Um, kind of on the order of chia and um, okra. So we're going to wash some of that off too. And I just kind of run this under water for maybe 30 seconds. And then we'll turn the water off. And then I'm going to let this drain and then I'll squeeze out the excess water. And I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so what I do is I just kind of make a hole in the bottom and I just press the extra juice out. Just like that. And then I'm going to finish up all this and when I um, get ready to add the other ingredients. I'll come back. Okay, we are now going to make the juice part of the relish. In here I have one and a half cups of sugar and to that we add one cup of apple cider vinegar. And we're going to stir this and then we're going to bring it to a boil. In this bowl, this is what your relish mixture is going to look like, purslane, peppers, and onions. And to this, we are going to add, here's my mixture right here. It's one teaspoon of celery seed, one half teaspoon of mustard seed, one half teaspoon of ground mustard, one half teaspoon of turmeric, and one half teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're going to put that in there. And we're going to mix it all up and let it sit while we're waiting for our um, vinegar mixture to boil. I'm just going to mix this up really well. And then when that's boiling, we'll come back. All right, so our mixture is boiling. Now we're going to put our 
purslane mixture in. all in there um, we need to cook this until it comes back to a boil and then immediately turn it off looks pretty good smells really good so when this comes back to a boil I'll bring you back Okay, as you can see, it is now boiling, so I'm going to turn it off, and then I'm going to get ready to can. All right, now, this is kind of odd. It's an odd way to do things, but it says that you're supposed to put the relish back into the strainer and let some of the juice drain out. And I guess it's to make sure that you have um, enough juice over the top of it. I really don't know. Maybe it's just the properties of the purslane that they tell you to do it this way. I don't know. I don't question. I just follow the directions. All right. So there's that. And then this is draining into the bowl. So I'm going to sit that back over there, and then I'm going to start my canning. Okay, so let me get a hot jar. And then I'm using a smaller spoon so I can keep better control of what goes into my jar. So I'm taking the mixture out of the strainer and loading the jar. I just want to show you. I come right below that line there to make sure I have enough room. With this particular recipe, um, it says that you really need to make sure that you have um, your purslane covered totally with liquid. Then I'm going to put liquid and we're going to do half inch headspace. A little bit more. So you can see there's liquid floating on the top. bubble then I'm going to add a little bit more liquid just to cover that just like that shake a little bit wipe the rim and I know they say you don't need to do hot lids and rings but I'm old-fashioned been canning for over 35 years so I'm doing hot lid and ring then we're going to I'm going to fill all these jars Put them back in the canner and then we're going to process them for 10 minutes. Okay, it's time to take the jars out. Looks pretty good. The last time I made this, I actually used the uh, red sweet peppers and they showed up a little bit better. And one of these jars, I think that one I just took out, um, has a little bit more liquid in it. I kind of ran out of the relish mixture. So this was a double recipe and I ended up with nine jars. Um, the directions say that it keeps well for one year at room temperature but it will keep for many years it will just lo lose um, a little bit of the texture and flavor. So there we go, nine jars. I didn't get to taste it because I used it on the jars, but I do have some right now in my refrigerator and it is really good. You can use it for cream of tartar, you can use it 
not cream of tartar. <laughs> you can use it for tartar sauce. You can have it on hot dogs and tuna fish, anything you want. So there you go, purslane relish. Something different to do with your purslane. So thanks for watching and have a great day.